This for me was reading a modern day Cinderella story. Hey everyone, my name is Sahani and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Michelle Obama's Becoming. On my Instagram I get asked uh, for book recommendations sometimes because I love reading. Now Becoming by Michelle Obama is a bestseller and we all know that some bestsellers are pretty hyped up and can be quite disappointing. I'm going to review this book and take out some of my favorite points and things that I've learned from this book um, and also tell you whether it's worth the read or not. Now we all know who Michelle Obama is. If you don't, then just um, pause this video, Google her and come back. Um, we've seen her successes, we've seen her as this amazing public figure but what's her journey really been like? Um, we don't know much about her bringing in her childhood and her struggle. I actually listened to the audiobook of Becoming and the best thing about this is that Michelle Obama narrated it herself. Um, every word connected with me. It had so much depth and emphasis because she's narrating her own story. Becoming is almost like the modern day Cinderella because the start of her life and where she is right now is so different it's surreal to imagine the journey she's gone through. So Michelle Robinson grew up in Chicago in a working class family and there were quite a few hurdles that she had to overcome growing up. Um, one of them was financial and the other one was her father's health. She was a really hard working diligent student and she'd often label herself as a perfectionist, really keen to please other people. I can completely relate to this. One point that really stuck with me was that when people would ask her what she wanted to be when she was older, she would always say a paediatrician and that would always be met with a lot of respect. I'm just going to read a short extract out from her book because I think it's such a good way of looking at um, the question of adults asking you when you're younger, what do you want to be when you're older? I mean, we've all been asked this. I've said things from um, a solicitor because again it would people be like oh that's that's very cool that's very smart um, to musician to actor to so many different things and this is what Michelle says now I think it's one of the most useless questions an adult can ask a child what do you want to be when you grow up as if growing up is finite as if at some point you become something and that's the end. And that's really what the basis of her book is about, becoming, we're constantly becoming something else. It's a, life itself is a transformation, nothing is the end. And when we're younger, we often think that, oh yeah, when we get a job and when we're older, that's the end, that's life. And she's constantly evolved throughout her life, it's actually quite inspiring. From facing a lot of gender and race discrimination, to studying at Princeton University and then finally Harvard Law School and then to working in a plush office. Um, she's really had a journey but it didn't end there, it didn't end at the office. Um, she felt that she'd achieved everything she wanted to but now what? And that's really interesting because she didn't feel like she was serving the society enough, she didn't feel like her work was meaningful, it wasn't really filling her up. Yes, she was earning the money that she probably never imagined she could um, and that was all because of education. Education brought her from point A to point B but she didn't really want to end at point B. And that's when things get really interesting because Barack walks in And he is, the way she describes him is something else. Um, and it's probably one of the most interesting, juiciest chapters of the whole book because it, she talks about their courtship days and how she feels about him. Um, they're very normal, nothing um, out of the world. But to hear how the power couple actually came together is so interesting. The rest is history, as you know, but. There are so many things that she brings up that she's very vulnerable and very open about her life thereafter as well. I was very surprised to hear that she was actually quite skeptical of Barack pursuing a career in politics and she wasn't all for it. She wanted a normal life. She didn't want so much media and public attention. It's quite difficult to share your husband with the whole nation and not even the whole nation, pretty much the whole world. She even talks about how her and Barack had some issues in their marriage and they had to go to counselling and I think it's so brave of her to share that. She talks about 
are the struggle she's faced in finding her identity on the public platform, how she's always been labelled as the angry black lady. We objectify our public figures, we don't realise that they're humans and they have feelings and they also read the news and um, for her it was almost creating her own identity and going against people's opinions and images that they had set for her and she speaks about missing the normal things that we take for granted like going to the grocery having the freedom to do that she talks about how when her daughters wanted to go for birthday parties she'd have to call the other children's parents and ask them if there was an escape route and it's it's quite funny to imagine that the daughters went to school with security services and all of this is so out of this world and abnormal per se and for them to remain so grounded and balanced despite this crazy life that they were living is so interesting to hear about and they seem like such a normal family. Now there are quite a few things that I've taken away from this book and I'm going to talk about some of them and the first one being that politics is so dirty and she talks about how um, they've been targeted and how their lives have been in danger so frequently and it just became a norm to live with that fear and insecurity. Um, but the way her and Barack have maintained their dignity and their poise and grace and they've never pulled anyone else down, um, it's something to take away. The second one being that her aim was to give back to society in some form and to live with a sense of purpose. She actually gave up her corporate law degree to pursue that. The third one, that you really can't please everyone so it's just important to project your voice and be yourself and then that's it. It doesn't, doesn't really matter what anyone thinks and we, we seek validation so much in other people. Finally, the quote which I have loved the most is, for me becoming isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim, I see it instead as forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously towards a better self. The journey doesn't end. And that's so important because we're constantly evolving. This book is a deep reflection of her life and it takes us through her journey. She's been so open and honest here and hearing about her journey has given me so much more fuel and courage and motivation and that's why I think this book is a must read. Reading it will at least make you think about your life choices and what you want to do in life and how you perceive the world. It's truly a testament of how anything can happen, absolutely anything. Like I said, this for me was reading a modern day Cinderella story. If you've read this book then let me know what you think of it and if you have enjoyed this short review of Becoming then give this video a big thumbs up, means a lot and uh, subscribe to this channel, I'll see you soon.